welcome to the lecture on structural analysis so in the last lecture we have just started the introduction to cables and the suspension bridges and to start with we have discussed about cables without stiffening girder so we know that in the case of cables without stiffening girder the cable is the main load carrying member the cable can take only tension it cannot take any bending moment and we have discussed about the relation between the span of the cable and the dip of the cable and we have discussed how to find out the tension in the cable by giving tension finding out some other value so by changing the values by giving some value finding out some other values examination point of view that we have discussed in the last le last lecture but actually for a designer only the maximum tension is required what is the maximum tension to which the cable is subjected to from which knowing the cross section area how to find out the i mean knowing the stress how to find out the cross section area of the cable how many cables are to be provided that is the designer's view but examination point of view anything can be asked by giving some data you will be asked to find out some other values right that we have discussed uh, some two three problems in the earlier lecture so earlier we have discussed cables supported at the same level now also we are going to take another cable subjected to point loads see because of the presence of suspenders or hangers closely spaced hangers the load on the from the deck slab load from the deck slab will be transferred to the cable in the form of uniformly distributed load so far we have discussed only uniformly distributed load now suppose the cable is subjected to point loads a few point loads then what to do then how to find out the length of the cable how to find out the tension in the cable so that's what you are going to take it up now now we will start with a numerical example a cable of horizontal span 21 meters so the horizontal span is 21 meters 21 meters has is used to support six equal loads six equal loads means so here we have a point load 2 3 4 5 and six equal loads six equal loads of 40 kilo newtons each 40 so each load equal to 40 kilo newton it is not subjected to udl 40 all loads are 40 all loads are 40 kilo newton Forty, and uh, at three meters spacing, so spacing equal to three meters. Therefore, three meters. So seven into three twenty-one meters. So that support the span, loading, and uh, spacing of the loads. the central dip of the cable is 2 meters actually it is not proportionate this is 3 meters so only 2 meters anyway just for discussion sake so d is 3 meters d equal 2 meters d equal to the central dip is 2 meters right dip uh, 2 meters find the length of the cable required and also the cross sectional area of the cable so what is the length of the cable what is the value of s because l is given l is 21 meters what is the value of s and what is the cross sectional area if the tensile stress is 750 sigma equal to 750 newton per mm square so what is the what is the area of cross section what is the area of cross section of the cable These are all the requirements. So that means first we have to find out the length of the cable. Now here 
all consists of straight segments we know that cable is flexible throughout because of the closely spaced hangers the load is transformed as UDL and it maintains a parabolic shape now here the loads are at distances of 3 meters therefore it cannot maintain a parabolic shape so all these things will be straight segments so this is straight segment this is straight segment similarly all the there will be seven straight segments so you have to find out the length of each straight segment add everything get the length of the cable so that is first part of the problem getting the value of yes then sigma is given area is asked now we know t max is equal to t max is equal to stress into area stress into area now the value of stress is given the stress is given so to find out the area we want the value of t max for getting the value of t max we have to find out va and horizontal tension so that we have to, after so this you have to systematically do it find out t max and using t max is equal to sigma in da we can find out the area this is the requirement requirement right now for getting the length of this cable first we will find out the reactions vertical reaction so v a equal to v b equal to total load by 2 because it is symmetrical with reference to center 40 40 40 here 40 40 40 therefore v a equal to by symmetry by symmetry v a or V B equal to total load by 2. Total load, there are 40 kilometer loads, there are 6 loads, 40 into 6 by 2 equal to equal to 120 kilometer. 120. Suppose if the loads are different, then we have to take V A into 21 minus 40 into 3 minus 40 into 6 minus 40 into 9 minus 40 into 12 minus 40 into 15 minus 40 into 18 equal to 0. So, this is the correct way of doing the problem, but here th this will also give the same value 120, but here uh, for convenience because uh, it is given asymmetric therefore we will avoid uh, this calculation this is not needed here but this procedure will be useful for any other loading suppose the loading is not symmetrical the general procedure will be useful so here it is not needed then coming to the horizontal tension horizontal tension so taking moments about moments about Call, we call it as C. So, this we will call it as A, this will call it as B, and the lowest point we call it as C. Lowest point we call it as C. We can take anywhere, anywhere we like, anywhere uh, we can take. So, because every point, at every point, bending moment is zero. As far as cable is concerned, cable cannot take any bending moment. So, when you take moment up to the center, it is V A into uh, say 10.5 minus V A into 10.5 minus um, this into 1.5, this into 4.5, this into 7.5. So, minus minus 40 into 1.5 minus 40 into 4.5 minus 40 into 7.5 that is when you take moment about this point point V A V A is this vertical reaction V A is this then H is there minus H so line of action is same line of action so H into 2 meters minus H into 2 equal to 0. 
so va is 120 va is 120 so substituting all the values h is the only unknown you will get h equal to 360 kilo substituting all the values simplifying h equal to 360 so this is 120 and h equal to 360 kilonewtons that is the horizontal tension horizontal tension is equal to 360 kilonewtons right now we can complete the first problem first part of the problem is uh, uh, even we can complete uh, the second part now. Second part is T max, T max equal to root of V square plus H square equal to root of V is 120, 120 square plus 360 uh, square equal to equal to T max equal to 379.47 379.47 uh, kN that we can find out 379 and T max equal to equal to sigma into A. Now, T max is in terms of kilonewtons. So, this is in terms of newtons. So, what we can do is 379.47 into 1000. So, many newtons is equal to this is newton per mm square sigma. Sigma equal to 750 into area. So, area equal to 379.47 into 1000, 1000 by 750. That will give you the area, area equal to 506 mm square. Area equal to. So, this part can be completed. Area, what is the area that is required? Area of cross section of the cable that is required is 506 square millimeter. So, that is one part of the problem. So, this part of the problem is over. This we have completed. Right. Now, what is the length of the cable? What is the length of the cable? Now coming to this, we'll call these points as D, E, F, G, H, I or K, or we'll call it as I. No problem. Yes, sir. right. Now we have to find out the length of this. Horizontal distance is 3 meters. So, this is 3 meters. This value is 3 meters. We have to find out what is the value of this. This distance we call it as D1. We call it as D1. Right. Now, coming to that elementary part, this is 3 meters. 3 meters. This is D1. This is not known D1. We have a force. 120, we have a force uh, 360, h equal to 360, this we call it as D1, this is A, uh, this is D, AD, right. Now, what is the value of D1? You take moment about this point D1, taking moment about D1, M D equal to, moment about D equal to, equal to VA, vertical reaction, into 
3 meters V A into there is no other force except V A and H so minus H into H into D1 so that is the moment about this point the moment about this point so V A into 3 meters minus H into D1 meters there is no other force so this is equal to 0 equal to 0 because as far as cable is concerned at any point bending moment is 0 it can take only direct tension so that we should not forget right so VI is 120 into 3 minus H is 360 into D1 equal to 0 moment is 0 right therefore D1 equal to 120 into 3 minus 360 minus 360 equal to 120 into 3, 360, 360 equal to 1 meter. D1 equal to D1 equal to 1 meter. D1 equal to 1 meter. Therefore, AD equal to AD equal to root of horizontal distance is 3 meters plus vertical distance is 1 meter. So, root of 3 square plus 1 square equal to 3.162. 3.162 meters. So this is this distance is 3.162 meters. Right. Next. So that is one part. So the same will be of the same will be this one. This is also a 3.162 meters by symmetry. Right. Now coming to this, coming to this. So let us call this distance as D2. D2, first segment, second segment. Now this is 1 meter. So this point is D, this point E. We call this as D2. D2. Here again it is 120 and this is 360, this is a point E and uh, 3 meters, 3 meters. Now taking moment about E, M E, M E is also 0, any point moment is 0, right. M E equal to 120 into 6 meters. 120 into 6 meters minus there is a load here. There is a load of 40 kilo. Therefore, minus 40 into a 3 about the point E minus 40 into 3 minus this horizontal tension. Horizontal tension minus a 360 into D2 equal to 0. Equal to moment at any point is equal to 0. These are the three forces to the left of E. 120 into 6 minus 40 into 3 minus 360 into D2. Therefore, uh, 360 D2 equal to 40 minus 360 into D2 on the left hand side equal to minus into 6 plus 40 into 3. 40 into 3 or 360 D2 equal to 120 into 6 minus 40 into 3. 120 into 6 is 720, 120 minus 120. Therefore, D2 equal to 720 minus 120 is 600 by 360. 600 by 360 1.667 1.667 1. meters so this value is 1 point this is 1 meter this is 1.667 meters 
one point, one point, this is one point meters. Therefore, now this will be this distance. Ah, yes. Now here this value alone will be equal to 0 0.667 meters because this is 1 meter, this is 1.667, therefore this alone is equal to 0 0.667. The horizontal distance is 3 meters. Therefore DE equal to, therefore DE equal to a root of 3 square plus point Six six seven square. Three square plus point six six seven square equal to three point not seven three. Three point not seven three meters. So this value is three point not seven three. Not seven three. So this is also three point not seven three. Right. That is the next calculation. Coming to the next one, next one, this is horizontal, this is horizontal, therefore here this distance is obviously a 2 meters only, 2 meters and here also it is 2 meters only, 2 meters. So this is, because this is horizontal, this is horizontal, right. Therefore when this is 1.667 and this is 2 meters, this distance will be, will be a 2 minus 0.667 equal to 0 0.3. 333 3. through point that is uh, here it is 1.667 and here it is 2 1.667 2 meters therefore this is so this is 2 meters is the total right now this value alone is equal to 0 0.333 this distance is 3 meters Therefore, E F equal to E F equal to a root of three square plus point three three square. Three square plus point three square. So E F uh, is equal to is equal to. 3.018, 3.0. Therefore, total length S equal to S equal to 2 into uh, AD equal to 3.162, 3.162 into 2 plus 3.073 into 2 plus 3.018 plus 3.018 into 2 plus there is a central portion namely Fg, Fg equal to 3 meters. So that will give the total length, the total length equal to 21.506, 21.506 meters. So S equal to, this is how we have to find out the length of the cube S equal to 21 point 5 hours. So when it is subjected to number of point loads, the cable will not be uniform, cable will not be parabolic. So it will some assume some um, straight segments, right? So that we have to find out the straight lengths and the total that will give the total length of the cable. So this is another type of problem, cable subjected to concentrated loads.
cables with supports at different levels. So this is next type of problem. Sometimes we have to, we may have to connect a cable, a bridge, a suspension bridge, connecting uh, points at two different levels or hills at two, two different levels. So one may be at a higher level, the other may be at a lower level. So we may have to, one, may, one support may be at this level, another support may be at this level, at this level. We may have to uh, provide a suspension cable. So uh, this is the horizontal span. Now, from here, this is say support B, support B, this is the, let us say, lowest point in the cable, lowest point is C. Now, this level, this may be D2. And here, from this up highest point up to the lowest point in the cable, lowest point, point in the cable, let this be D1, D1, D2. Now, we have to get the horizontal length. So, this is L1 up to the lowest point. This is L2. This is L2. L1, L2, D1, D2. So, support A is at a higher level, support B is at a lower level, C is the lowest point in the cable. Now, again this is subjected to a load of a load of P per unit length. As before, it is P per unit P per unit length. So, cable is subjected to a load of P per unit length. Now, here this has got a relation <laughs> L1 by L2 L1 by L2 equal to square root of P1 by D1 d1 by d2 there is one relation l1 by l2 we can derive this relation l1 by l2 equal to d1 by root of d1 by d2 this is one relation so we have to find out suppose suppose these values are known suppose d, d these values are known we can find out l1 equal to square root of d1 by d2 into l2 there are two unknowns these values are known. Let us say these values are known. L1 equal to so many times L2. Then another relation is L1 plus L2 equal to L. So you can find out L1 in terms of L2. L1 equal to L minus L2. L, L2. When you substitute for L1 here, you will get the value of L2. And from which you can get the value of L1. L1 and L2 can be solved using the relation L1 by L2 equal to root of D1 by D2 and L1 plus L2 equal to L. There are two unknowns, there are two equations. Solving, we can get the value of L1 and L2. Sometimes, sometimes, they will give L1 and L2, L1 and L2, you will be asked to find out the value of D1 and D2 by giving the difference in level difference in level between the uh, two supports, they will give the difference in level between the two supports. So, from which you have to find out. So, this will be given. You will have to find out the value of D1 and D2. So, by somehow, somehow they will give mostly D1 and D2 they will give. We will be expected to calculate L1 and L2. Sometimes L1 and L2 will be given. We may have to find out the value of D1 and D2 using the same relation. Using the same relation. So, because 
examination you may give anything you may ask any any other thing right so that is not design oriented so if some uh, if you are given some value whether you are able to find out some other value or that's that is whether you are able to make use of these relations for getting l1 l2 d1 and d2 this is uh, one type of uh, calculation that is when the supports are at different levels different levels now now from the lowest point lowest point the entire load will be taken by support a support a. therefore the value of va va equal to p into l1 it is not pl by 2 as before so from the lowest point the entire load will be taken by support a similarly from the lowest point the load on the right hand side will be taken by support b support b support b will have vertical reaction va vb vb equal to p into l2 p into l2 this part this part of the load will be taken by support b that is from the lowest point to b that will be taken by vb vb equal to pl by 2 right now this is h h equal to p l1 square by 2 d1 p l1 square by t1 now here h is equal to p l2 square by 2 d2 2 d2 that is so previously it was 8 d1 now it is 2 d2 because now suppose l1 equal to l2 equal to l by 2 L1 equal to suppose when the supports are the same level, L1 equal to L2 equal to L by 2. D1 equal to D2 equal to D when the supports are at the same level, same level. Now substituting here, substituting. So this will become equal to P into L2 equal to L by 2 whole square, L square by 2 into D2 equal to D. This is equal to p by 2d into l square by 4 equal to p l square by 8d. We will get the same formula. Earlier, earlier we have got h equal to p l square by 8d. So when l1 equal to l2 equal to l by 2, d1 equal to d2 equal to d, you will get the same formula. You will get the same old formula, right? Same old. Similarly, there also there will be the problem. now coming to this here also equal to p into l1 equal to l2 equal to l by 2 so p into l2 equal to l by 2 same formula we know p va equal to vb equal to p into l by 2 so when the supports are at the same level you get the old formula right so we are not changing any but uh, for this uh, this is the these are the formulas these are the formula so when the supports are at the same level i mean different levels we have to make use of this formula and here also we have to find out the maximum tension and minimum tension as in the earlier case so normally the maximum tension will occur at the upper support higher level support therefore we have to find out t a we have to find out t max t max equal to root of v a square plus h square similarly here you get v b equal to i mean t max equal to root of t max equal to root of v b square plus h square h square that is the uh, formula now here again in this problem also we will be asked to find out what is the minimum tension what is the minimum tension so minimum tension here also will occur at the lowest point here only we will have the minimum tension minimum tension at c only because this is more and this is less we should not misunderstand that this is maximum and that is minimum so minimum tension will occur only at the lowest point because here it is va va equal to p into l1 so coming to the downward load so this is p into l1 
so here v will become zero v a p in the l1 minus p in the l1 v will be zero v will be equal to zero and here also p in the l2 upwards minus p in the l2 downwards so v will become zero therefore t equal to root of v square plus h square at the lowest point v equal to zero therefore t equal to root of h square is equal to h this will occur at the lowest point in the cable so this is always to be remembered always the minimum tension will occur at the lowest point in the cable that we have to be very clear even though supports are at different levels the minimum tension will occur at the lowest point in the cable where v equal to zero that is the uh, problem <coughs> and here also we have to find out the value of l we have to find out the value of the length of the cable length equal to l plus 2 by 3 d1 square by l1 plus 2 by 3 d2 square by l2 d2 square by l2 this is the formula earlier it was 8 by 3 d square by l earlier this value was 8 only one term l plus 8 by 3 d square by l right here also we will check this is the formula when the supports are at different levels to find out the length of the cable this is the formula right now suppose in this formula suppose l1 equal to l2 equal to l by 2 d1 equal to d2 equal to d then s equal to l plus 2 by 3 into d1 equal to equal to d only d square d square by l1 equal to l by 2 l1 equal to l by 2 l by 2 plus 2 by 3 into d2 equal to d square by l2 equal to l by 2 l by 2 this is equal to l plus uh, this uh, will go to the numerator 4 by 3 d square by l plus 4 by 3 d square by l equal to l plus 8 by 3 d square by l that is we get the formula for cables with supports at the same level same old formula we are getting right so th- just to say uh, both are uh, say matching right right so this is when l1 equal to l by 2 when the cables are support the same level these are the values so substituting these values in this expression you get the old formula l plus 8 by 3 d square by l therefore when the cable is support the same level for getting the length of the cable we have to make use of this formula when the cable is supported different levels we have to make use of this formula so that is to find out the length of the cable now with this uh, introduction we'll just uh, do a numerical example on this topic we'll take one simple example a suspension cable of uh, a suspension cable of uniform material is hung between two points a and b is hung between two points a and b separated by a horizontal distance of 92 meters therefore this value is 92 meters 92 meters then uh, and carries a uniform distribution of 25 kN per meter so this value is given as 25 25 
25 kilo newton per meter length meter length then the maximum dip of the cable measured from a and b or from a this value is given as 8 meters and from b that is this distance is also given is given as 4 meters so from a the maximum dip of the cable measured from a and b or 8 meters and 4 meters so d1 equal to 8 meters d2 equal to 4 meters respectively determine determine the horizontal component of the tension in the cable so what is the value of h that is one question also determine the length of the cable required that is what is the value of s so these are the two values that are required so tension all those things are not required so we have to find out what is the horizontal component what is the value of h then what is the value of yes right so that we have to find out now for getting the value of s you want the value of d2 is given we want the value of l2 we want the value of l2 p is given p is given so we know when the cable is support different levels l1 by l2 equal to square root of d1 by d2 so l1 is not known l1 by l2 l2 equal to l minus l1 you can say l minus so we can combine both uh, here equal to d1 is 8 meters d2 equal to 4 meters therefore l1 equal to 8 by 4 is 2 therefore root 2 root 2 into l is 92 minus l1 92 minus l1 so this on solving right that is this is l1 plus root 2 L1 equal to uh, root 2 into 92, 92, or you can say L1 uh, e L1 into 1 plus uh, root 2 equal to uh, root 2 into 92. So L1 L1 equal to uh, root 2 into 92 by 1 plus uh, root 2. Equal to one plus root two equal to that will give you the value of L one L1 equal to 53.892. L1 equal to 53.892 meters. Therefore, L2 equal to therefore L2 equal to 92 minus 53.892 equal to L2 equal to 38.108. 38.108. meter 38.18 meters now uh, va values vb values are not required because we have been asked to find out the horizontal tension only if va is required va equal to p into l1 va equal to p is 25 l1 is 53.892 53.892 equal to you can find out but this is not required vb is also not required because vb is actually 25 into 38.108 equal to this is also not required so we have been asked to find out the horizontal tension horizontal tension h equal to h equal to p l1 square by 2 d1 equal to p is 25 L1 is 53.53.892 square by 2 D1 equal to 8 meters. So that value happens to be P L1 by 
four five four five three eight point not four a kilo. This is the horizontal tension. So this is one value. This is one value. And the other, so you can make use of the other formula also. H equal to P L two square by two D two equal to P is twenty five. L two is thirty eight point one eight eight. Thirty eight point one eight eight square by two into four. That is also the same. Actually, there will be a small deviation. Four five three eight four five. Three point two. So whether it is H on the left hand side or H on the right hand side, value will be the same. It is four five three eight uh, kilonewton only. That is one value. One value is uh, what is the horizontal tension. So that is one value. The other value is yes. So yes is required. Yes is equal to we know yes is equal to uh, L plus. 2 by 3 d1 square by l1 plus 2 by 3 d2 square by l2 equal to 92 plus 2 by 3 2 by 3 d1 is 8 8 square by 53.892 53.892 Plus two by three into d two is four, so four square by l two is thirty eight point one not eight. So this on calculations will give you s equal s equal to s equal to ninety three point not seven two ninety three point not seven two. Kilonewton, 93.072 kilon. So that is this value is also. So these are the two values that are required. And here also, as in the case of cables with supports at the same level, here also they can ask what is the maximum tension, what is the minimum tension, and by giving all other values, find out the value of P. By giving T max, by giving this value, find out the value of uh, UDL. By giving one value of d, finding out the other value of d, like this, any number of problem can be asked. And if by giving the maximum tension, find out the area of cross section of the cable by giving you the stress. So all these problems will be repeated as in the case of cables with supports at the same level. And I think for this lecture, I think this will be enough. We will continue further in the subsequent lectures. Thank you.